Kendra Twitty. And I'm Ann O'Brien, and we're professional counselors working at Mindstream Academy with students, and we partnered them with Horses for Learning. The type of work of partnering students, families, and students themselves with the horses, it's solution focused, it's brief therapy, it's effective, and it is a therapeutic approach that allows the students and families to experience the issues that they might be having through metaphorical learning. So I personally feel that you, you can move families and students along faster in a, in a counseling role to get them outside and with horses and animals. And let me just add, one of the reasons we use horses that Kendra and I have talked about is they're large, powerful animals, they're expressive, they're social, and they communicate their moves by nonverbal and verbal behaviors. And that's something we really talk about with the kids as far as using metaphors so that the students are working with the horses, observing these behaviors, and we can talk about transitioning those thoughts and actions to realistic uh, things that the challenges that the students have at home, in school, with their peers, with their parents, and all walks of life. You'll see in the videos that our students are asked to do tasks that are related to obstacles and challenges in their lives. And so maybe what we can show you is a demonstration of what our kids are doing here at Mindstream to work through their issues out in the horse arena, which is also the counseling arena. The purpose of today's exercise, Life's Little Obstacles, was helping the students to learn to communicate with one another as a team in order to recognize a group obstacle in addition to their individual goals and obstacles and to work together as a team to move a horse over the obstacle without touching the horse. And there are lots of different things that we observed and we were hoping that the students would get out of this. Today we are going to do life's little obstacles and you all have some paper and a pen and what you're going to do is you're going to write down an individual obstacle for yourself. It can be anything. It can be something big, it can be something little. And then as a group we're going to give you one minute to come up with a group obstacle and that group obstacle as along with your individual obstacles are going to be taped onto this white pole over here okay and then when you're finished doing that we will talk about the next step Open your eyes wider. what I'd like for y'all to do now is take 30 seconds and decide as a group which horse that you were going to use to take over the obstacle. Now the rules are no touching the horse, no bribing the horse, meaning stimulating like you have treats. Um, you can use anything in your community as a resource. We lost it in the fire early spring. Let me ask you this, if you're trying to push something forward and there's something standing in the way, like blocking the forward, does how does that work for you? It blocks them from moving. So as a team, what do you think you need to do? Move your horse Not be in his... Yeah, yeah, cool. Observation that I made during today's equine session was that the students would stand in front of the obstacle and one student would be in front of the horse and another student would be behind the horse asking the horse to go forward and another student would be blocking the horse from going forward. So I asked the question of 
Is there a time when you're trying to move towards a challenge in your life, however there's something blocking you from that challenge or that obstacle? And what do you do when there's something that's blocking you from reaching your goal or reaching um, the hurdle of getting over a certain challenge? And the students were able to take that question and apply it to what's going on in their life. I'd like to just make an observation that I hear zero communication for you all. Let's all move. Okay, where are you over there? Yeah. You okay? I'll be over here, Chris. You're in the rear. I'm not great. Come on, Wooly. Get it in the And then we stop it. And if something's working, talk oh, about what is it. working. One of the observations that we observed was that when the students were not communicating, the horse was choosing to not cooperate or join with the students. I'm observing the last time we got together and talked about touch and connection. There were many ways of helping to move with something instead of making it move. Come on, Lou. Louie, come on. Come here, Louie. Louie. Louie, come here, buddy. Louie. Not, not behind you. Louie, step over here. Hey. Look, Louie. Okay, Bring it out that way. We can get him to turn around and come on, Louie. walk over it. Louie. Louie. Come on, bud. Come on, Louie. Louie, come here. Louie. Huh? Come here, Louie. Come here. Come here, Louie. 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 As a team, do you notice Louis. anyone or anything maybe blocking Louie from going forward? The other horses or Maggie, the fence. As a team, talk to talk together. Communication. What's happening here? Louis. What's happening Hi. with Louie? The Where are you all We're in regards to Louis? Where are you all? I think we should all go in over here. So what I see happening is when Christopher moves over the jump, Louis is looking towards Christopher on, with his ears forward. Come on, Louis. You got this. Come on, Louis. Come on, Louis. Breathe. Come over the line. He might fall. Louie, come on. Move come on, baby. the obstacles Closer. this way. Closer. That way you'll walk. Grab the other side. Louie. I'm really observing that you're having much better communication and teamwork. He doesn't like the thing. Cool. Okay. What's going on for one of your team members right now? See? Just What was she trying to do? Trying to stop him. Yeah. And did she have help? No. So what does she need to do? Have to help. help. Louie, come here, bud. Louie, come here. Can you all look at me a second? Stay right where you are. I see Christopher asking the horse to come forward, and I see group members standing in front of the horse going like this. So does the horse know what to do? No. So what do you do as a team? How do you communicate with each other right now? Stop getting your group situation and talk to each other. Go blind with love and loneliness. A hallmark of our time. Cause romance is a temporary thing. We lost it.
end, after the students had figured out that they needed to move away and stop blocking the horse, and the horse walked away from them as well, they followed the horse and were worried about a horse fly. And when they were worried about the horse fly, they finally really started communicating as a group and working as a group to get the fly away from the horse. The horse picked up on this energy and meekly and mildly followed Christina right over the obstacle. And they all got that. We just So what I observed was when you all moved away from being around him, even though some of you were over the obstacle trying to get him over it, he was surrounded. And that's why I said, what would happen if you all moved away and talked? Well, nobody really talked, but you all moved. And what happened then? He left. He left. He figured, you know, he wasn't part of your herd anymore. So then I observed you all walking back to him and trying to help him with the horse fly, and then what happened? Yeah, he thought he was part of the Yeah, he joined. Can you he say that he again? Joining up. He joined up. He joined up. So was there a shift in energy with you all? Mm -hmm. What was the shift? I guess people, we were talking too, and so to kill a horse fly, and I, I guess when we were communicating, I guess that. I heard a lot of talk about that horse fly. I didn't hear a lot of talk about strategy for the obstacle, <laughs> but I heard a lot of talk about the horse fly. So that meant that you were communicating and the horse was obviously feeling that energy of communicating and you all were bringing the obstacle to him. So even though the team split up, there was kind of that underlying communication of bringing the goal together. And the goal was not necessarily going to be reached to go over this obstacle immediate, immediately. One of your major group goals right here is communication on the pink paper. And you really were not communicating in, in the other parts of this, even though you were trying, but you were communicating about the horse fly. Mm -hmm. And he picked that up. So once he picked that up, what happened, Christina? I just turned around to start walking and he followed. So I get up.